Well, hey there, welcome back to this Farming Simulator 22 series on Oak Mountain. We're back in operation. Got the combine fixed thanks to the uh, service tech you know, there at the dealership. He was able to uh, get everything back working as it should. So that is great, and great news. Now, problem with that is I don't have the bill. So it may not be so great when I get that but hopefully it won't be too bad uh, we'll see but we got Gage behind us there in the Mahindra uh, he's going to uh, be running the grain cart for us and uh, you see down the field there we've already done about half the field that far end uh, has been done so we are making good progress but we've run into a situation actually got a call from the sheriff and he was calling around to different folks trying to find out if anybody was willing to take the horses that are up there at Oak Mountain Ranch oh and I am not paying attention there and just overshot the field there where's Gage at here he comes but yeah the horses down there uh, they need some food they need somebody to take care of them. Uh, they need a new home. Uh, they're not sure how long that the fella down there... What is he doing? That the fella down there at the uh, ranch is going to be uh, in jail or whatever's going to go on. So, What is Gage doing? Come on, kid. Let's get you back down here. But yeah, so the horses need a new home and uh, talked to the wife about it and uh, we've agreed to uh, take those in. We're going to try and build a small <laughs> just run through the bush. Oh, what can I say? Yeah, we're going to build a small little horse pen down here and uh, we're going to adopt those horses and uh, get them moved in here. So we're going to need a little bit of hay a little bit of oats. We do have the uh, water tanker there, so getting water to them is not going to be an issue. So, yeah, pretty excited. Uh, going to take care of them horses and hopefully give them a good home. So, that is something I got to do here very shortly. We got to find a spot to build a, a horse pen. I don't know where we can put it. Uh, in the meantime, we're just going to run up there and uh, keep them fed until we can get them moved down here to the farm. Uh, so hopefully we can get that taken care of pretty soon. Uh, I don't know what it's going to take to build a horse pen. So may have to uh, look at that cost. And also might have to clear out some trees. I'm not sure if I have a spot open enough to uh, place the pen. We'll have to find a, find a good spot for it. But yeah, so we're going to get some horses in here. And try and get those going. Keep them healthy. Take care of them for the uh, for the guy up there at Oak Mountain Ranch. So I'm very pleased to be moving back along here in the wheat field. I was really concerned about the damage or the uh, repair there on the combine, but it ended up not being too difficult. So we are back in operation and I'm moving along pretty good. We should not take very long to get this uh, field done. I'm not sure what I bet that kid's playing on his phone. He got a he just got engaged, that kid. Uh sure did. And so uh, he's texting his fiance, I bet you. Alright, well we're gonna carry on with this field here. We'll knock it out. Uh Gage is going to go ahead and run along. Oh, uh, you notice the bells have been picked up. Uh, matter of fact, there you go. Over by the silo, we do have a trailer load of bells already. Uh, while the technician was working on the combine, it uh, dried up a little bit. So we went ahead and picked up the bells and put them on the trailer. Uh, they're ready to go, down to be sold. But we're going to have to take them a little bit further now that Cliff's feed store is uh, still shut down. So, not sure where we'll sell them, but 
we will get them sold somewhere. So, yep, we're going to go ahead and continue with this field here. And uh, try and get it knocked out. All right, we're going to take a little ride here. Finally got done with the field. It is all collected. All bailed and all in the silo. You see, got the tractors out there. We've got a, this load of straw we're going to take down actually to the animal dealer. They are the uh, closest one uh, buying hay here. So we're going to take it down there. And actually, I think I could take this road here. We're going to ease down here and uh, get this sold. Uh, Gage finished up the bailing uh, while I was on the last grain tank there in the combine. So we got all of that done. And he's going to help me. He's going to stick around today, help me get the next load on the trailer. And we'll try and get all of this sold today. Uh, that way he can go ahead and get paid as well. And he will not be back tomorrow. He actually has a couple jobs lined up. It's, you know, it's July. So it is hay season. So he's got a couple other jobs to do uh, with his hay work business. So he's going to go take that off. But I was looking at the calendar. And I believe that I have enough time to get more sorghum in the ground in this field so I'm going to go ahead and work on that we'll get the field cultivated and then try and get it seeded uh, it shouldn't take too long with the seeder we have now so excited about getting that so let me hop out here and we'll see about getting this straw sold and then uh, we'll head back to the house and grab another load all right, thank y'all now. Y'all have a good day. All right, we just got paid there for the straw. 9,081 bucks for all that straw. Uh, so I'm going to owe, I'm going to go owe Gage about 1,800 bucks for his cut. But when I drove around the building here, I noticed something over here on the side. Uh, they have a horse trailer down here. So I asked about maybe renting it using it told them what was going on with the uh, horses up there at the elk mountain ranch and that we were going to adopt them and they said that i could come down here and get this thing and use it anytime i wanted to uh, they don't haul much in it anymore they normally have trucks coming in uh doing all the hauling so uh that is available for me to uh, use i'm going i'm going to uh, definitely take them up on that offer uh, when we have to move those horses so that'll save me a little bit of money there, not having to worry about buying a trailer or renting a trailer. So that is fantastic news. The not so fantastic news is that they don't pay very well for the straw. So not a whole lot made off of that field. Uh, a little bit. It's better than nothing, I guess. Uh, right now, money is back kind of tight. I'm living... Paycheck the paycheck at this moment. Oh, we need to get some some padding in the bank account. It has been slim here for a little bit. So uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and... Ooh, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. We're going to take the trailer, truck and trailer down here. And get it back parked at the house. And then we'll walk back down there. We'll pay Gage. We'll let him be on his way. He's going to take his tractor and baler back to the house. And then I'm going to go ahead and hop in the tractor. And see about getting some seeds put out. I am pretty sure that the dealership said that that... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to walk down there. I'm going to take the tractor. Yeah. Work smarter, not harder. Yeah, the, I think the dealership said that this uh, cedar would actually direct drill. So, I don't know. I'm not sure if it will or not. We're going to give it a shot. And see what happens. Gage is probably wondering what I am doing.
This shed is a little, it's a big shed, but man, there's not a lot of room to maneuver once you get a few things in there. Corn is looking fantastic. Hopefully that'll be ready very soon. I think we can ease along beside the cornfield here. Uh, we still do have some seed and fertilizer in the cedar. Doubtful it will get us to the end of the seeding here, but we'll see. Hopefully it will. I tell you, I hate everything that has happened to those guys. I hate that Cliff is in trouble with his feed store, too. That's that's unfortunate for him and for me and for the uh, community. All right, let me uh, find Gage. Should be close by somewhere. We'll get his uh, money to him and then uh, we'll get to work on the seating. Gage, where are you? Just got done checking the seeds there. You see Gage is taking off. Uh, I don't have a whole lot left in the hopper. About a quarter of the tank of fertilizer and uh, just a little bit under half on seed. So it is going to be going to be close. I don't think we're going to make it on what's in here, but we'll give it a shot. See how far we can get. I guess if I do run out of fertilizer, I can continue seeding. We can always come back and put some fertilizer out later on. All right, let's see what will happen here. I do have some rocks in the ground. Huh. That does not appear to be direct drilling. Let me hop out and take a look at this. They may have told me a story. Or maybe I just misunderstood them. No, I don't think we're, uh, we're not getting it in. All right, well, let me go grab the cultivator. Well, I messed up. That yeah, figures. I was unhooking this thing here and didn't realize I needed to have the thing folded up. And now the, <laughs> the hitch is so high, I can't get it connected. So, let me see if we can't push it back down with the loader here on the front. Ooh, ooh, not that much. Oh boy. All right, let's see if we can hop in and get lined up and get it connected here. There we go. Woo. That was almost a very bad mistake. All right, good thing I had the Mahindra still down here. All right, I'm going to get this closed up and then go get the cultivator. Well, we're making some progress. About got this field cultivated. Uh, we got the roller working behind us to go ahead and uh, smooth out some of those rocks. Now you do notice all throughout the field, there is a lot of rocks. Now this field is actually in pretty bad shape. I didn't realize how many rocks were out here uh, that were too big for the cultivator to handle. Uh, I really need to do something with them, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go ahead and roll on with with the field as is. Uh, we're just going to try to get the sorghum planted. I'm running out of time on uh, getting that to work, to growing, so I'm just going to go with it, and hopefully we don't cause any damage to anything. So it is getting later in the evening. I'm going to try to go ahead and get some seeding done. Uh, get done what I can and then uh, just if I can get done with that or right before the right before dark I'm going to run on up to the uh, to the to the ranch and go ahead and check on those horses make sure they have plenty of food and water 
and then see about collecting up some materials to throw up a little makeshift pin for them somewhere down here at the ranch. I don't think it's going to be fancy of, you know, a few posts, some barbed wire, maybe a little lean-to or something uh, just to get them out of the weather. But we'll go ahead and get them moved down here hopefully tomorrow. If I, if I can get, get something built and uh, kind of throw together, we'll see what we can do and then I'll try and get them moved down here and uh, get these things down here to our farm and take care of them. So, anyhow, it looks like I'm done there with the uh, cultivator, I believe. Yep, looks like it's all done. I'm ready for some horses. Well, we're at the end of July here. I did get the field planted, uh, well, seeded. All of the sorghum is in. Ended up having to get some more seeds and some more fertilizer. But it is done. And I was able to uh, find some old posts laying around the farm. I got an old rope laid out here around, just tied up. Hopefully they stay in. But it cost me a pretty penny to uh, buy the metal for this shed here. Those panels there, buckets, feed trough, different things. So, oh, and I even found an old bathtub. I got for their water trough. So, 8,000 bucks. And that puts me at broke. But, doing a good thing for the horses. Trying to get them home. So, what I'm going to do is now head right over to the animal dealer. And grab their trailer. Uh, they said we could use it, so we're going to use it. And we're going to head on over to the ranch, pick up the horses, and bring them back. And now, I don't have any oats to feed them, nor do I have any hay. Uh, but, I was informed uh, that I could grab some of the hay bales there, uh, there at the ranch. Uh, they said to take what I needed and bring it back so that we could uh, get the horses fed, keep them fed, until I'm able to get some other food for them. So at least I have that that I can use until I'm able to get something on my own. May end up having to buy a lot of it right now. Uh, I don't have any hay planted. Yeah, I scrapped the hay field. All right, let me get this trailer hooked up here and we will get on over to the ranch. Well, got the horses moved over here. They are neighing and they seem to be happy. Uh, I'm sure they're hungry. We're going to go grab them some food. I uh, actually did not get any of the hay over there. I uh, didn't have any room in the trailer. So what I'm going to do is run back up to the ranch and grab a few bales of hay. Bring it back down here to the horses and get them fed. So we have some horses here on the farm. I'm going to take the trailer over and return that to the uh, animal stockyard over there. And then get back over here and give these guys a run. They need some exercise. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to click that thumbs up button on the video. And if you are new to my channel or just haven't done so already, I'd appreciate if you consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a blessed day.